So they got double F evolutions uh, with the Leafeon and the Glaceon. They have the Cinderace. Okay, so the Dragapult's the main thing I'm worried about here. But I do like the Vanillux lead. Being able to get up that Aurora Veil is nice. Also, Conkeldur has a great time, other than the fact that there's that Dragapult around. But honestly, if they lead Dragapult, I might just go ahead and just go straight for a Blizzard. Or at least try to get some damage off on it. Maybe I go Duraludon instead. Let's go Duraludon instead, um, because I do think they're going to lead off with that that Dragapult. And then other than that, let's... um. I do like Cinderace. It's able to outspeed a lot. I think we're going Cinderace again. Hayden will easily get to Master Rank tonight. Look at him with all the games. I don't know about that. Don't know about it tonight, but we're going to give it a try. Alright, let's get this money. So. Mm, 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 mm. What do you think about Lucario maybe coming back? Oh, L Lando. I thought you said Lucario. Look, Lucario is here. Okay, so they do lead with the Dragapult and the Toxapex. Honestly, I'm pretty bummed about Lando coming back. It's gonna really mess things up. I don't know how they're gonna handle all the new legend threats. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, but it's at least gonna be a new metagame, which is fun. So we do still have a couple more months of this. So gotta enjoy the time Lando is not here. Alright, so Toxapex Dragapult lead. I kind of do just want to go right for the Aurora Veil. And since they brought that Dragapult, we're safe to do that. We're sashed with Vanillux. Um Dragon, dragon, no, no, we're, we're good, we're good. All right, now we Dynamax with the Duraludon, I think. I want to do that to be able to survive. And then let's just go right for a, do I want to max Darkness? We actually just max Worm Wind. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, either way, that Dragapult does not like it. Toxapex is interesting. Hopefully Lando is banned from VGC. I don't know though, man. Oh, they're gonna just switch out that thing, okay. Gonna bring in the Cinderace here. They are afraid of the ice cream cone. They had to bring in the Cinderace. you love to see it. Alright, so we get that Dynamax turn one, and this thing does not really want to be hard switched in. Cinderace is one of those mods that's really hard to get into. Just hard switches. Legends won't be in this season of BGC. Yeah, most likely next, but the thing is, they're going to be there eventually, which does suck. So we get that Aurora Veil. Right in front of the old Dynamax Duraludon, so we looking like a beast. Does Body Press take buffs into damage calc? I th I'm sure it does. Alright, so we get that Max Wormwind off on the Cinderace. Knocks that thing out directly. You are not able to even touch the ice cream. Take that. People are still disconnecting for that glitch because they didn't hear that they're implementing punishments for it now. What glitch are you talking about? Oh, they're gonna, t you're gonna toxic the Vanillux? Why? So that ruins my Focus Sash, which really kind of sucks. Um, but we should be okay here. We can freeze dry that thing and then kind of, we can double that Toxapex and just get rid of it. Also, I do have, eh, yeah, that's Cinder or that freaking Toxapex is kind of annoying. But I am still concerned about that Dragapult in the back. What's happening, Getlo? My boy. Creating a draft league. If anyone's interested, please wish me if you win. Hit up my boy. All right, Pangoro. Did not expect the Pangoro. So we have Conkeller in the back for that, which is nice. Don't really want to waste Duraludon. Uh, let's go for the freeze dry on the Toxapex. Kind of need to get some damage off on that thing. And then I would like to. I might just go for the Max Steel Spike to get that defense boost on the Pangoro. What's happening, Johnny? We got Great Brown Bear. Yes, thanks to all the thanks to all the raids. Thank y'all for coming. All right, so get that max steel spike off on the Pankoro, which actually just knocks it out. Life Orb Duraludon is taking names tonight. Not a whole lot, man. Just trying to learn how to play VGC. They disconnect you for raid manipulation. What the hell was that sound? I swear, I hear that sound happen all the time. But I don't know what alert that sound is. <laughs> Did somebody do something? I'm so confused. <laughs> Nothing came up, so what the fuck. Alright, so they do still have that Dragapult left, which is going to be an issue, but should still be okay. Also, that Toxapex took that pretty nicely. 
Vanillix doesn't hit extremely hard, but, you know, he, he tries his best. Alright, so the Dragapult kind of has to... You have to try to get rid of the Vanillux here. We're just going to go ahead and Blizzard. And... Then we're going to Wormwind on the Dragapult slot as well. Because that thing is scary. We have a defense boost if it's a physical. We haven't seen what kind of Dragapult this thing even is at all. So hoping it's physical, but Duraludon should be able to take at least one hit. So it looks like we're in a pretty good situation here, and then we kind of just have to handle that Tox effect. So we should be, we should be okay. Look at me, boys. I'm starting to learn VGC. Slowly but surely. Okay, so they're going to Dynamax on that uh, Dragapult slot. If it's the Tox effects, that'll be hilarious. I have a friend who got a shiny G-Max hidden ability, Duraludon Den. Nice, man. Dude, I want it. Does he have it currently? Can I join it after this battle? Toxpec's gonna Baneful Bunker, so that's actually perfect. We did not target this thing. Other than, I mean, with the Blizzard. Max Phantasm is going to not do anything. Good night, folks. Thank you for stopping around, stopping by, Arhis guy. All right, so Duraludon eats that up, and we do get the Blizzard off. Freaking Toxpec protects itself. And we do connect on the Dragapult, doing about half. Look at that, Vanillux. Super clutch. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so big threat out of the way. Kind of wasted their Dynamax as well, which is fine. And now it is just us against the Toxapex. Which, uh, which is spooky. Just kidding. We have way too many threats for this Toxapex to even do anything. I'm assuming they'll probably just run at this point. This thing has no offensive presence. And, uh, sorry you spiky little bastard. Look at Vanillux just staying alive, too. Does not care about the poison at all. We still have the freeze dry to be able to hit it with. And then Duraludon can just Draco me do that thing. Which we'll be able to finish it off, so. Let's get it, boys. Alright. I'm actually really liking this team. Can Vanillux finish it off with the freeze dry? <laughs> we sure can. That is a dead Toxapex. Look at the ice cream cone. Strikes fear into the enemies. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. So, quite the fun team here. Did not expect Vanillux to be really doing as well as it has been. It's got a great niche though. All right, continue battling. Let's, uh, let's get it. We are just out here ranking up. Cold-Blooded. I should have, should have a vanilla X name, Cold-Blooded. Cold-Blooded Killer. All right, next battle, boys, against Thomas. What do you got for me, Thomas? Please no weather. Oh, we see the Hatterene, which is annoying, so Trick Room is definitely here. And, uh, interesting. They got that Copperaja Trick Room, which is kind of scary. Also, a freaking Pink Urchin. I have not seen... I've not seen any of these things. I haven't even seen a Galar Weezing at all either. So, the, with the Trick Room around, I don't really want to lead Con Keller, which is kind of my go-to, but we do want to hit that fucking Dessert first, and then we will go with, um, probably Duraludon again. I think, honestly, Duraludon with the Aurora Veil seems pretty nice. So, um, assuming they're going to bring that Hatterene for Trick Room support, and get that Arctivish thing, Caparanja is kind of scary, so I do want to bring Conkelder. And then let's also go Jellicent. Alright. Interesting. I, really, I want him to bring the Pink Kerchin. What, what, is, what do those things do? Alright. Dessert first, boys. So yeah, Pink Kerchin does seem kind of scary on Trick Rooms. Very, very interesting. So let's see what they're going to want to lead off with. So it had a rain in the pink curtain right from the start. So this thing, actually, yeah, we're gonna be able to hit pretty hard, but we will be able to guarantee we get that Aurora Veil up. So, do I want to get rid of the spiky boy or the freaking hat thing first? I honestly feel like that thing's gonna probably Dynamax. Let's see how this goes. So get, the, get up that electric surge, and then it's also got the electric seed. There, uh, yeah, electric seed. Boost that defense. Very interesting. Let's go for the Aurora Veil. 
And then we shall... Dynamax Max Steel Spike onto the Hatterene slot. Seems like the safest bet. Um, they can focus Vanillax, but we really just want to get that... Just kind of get that Aurora Veil up. So as long as we can take care of this Hatterene, I think that we, should, we should have a, a decent... Decent time here, so... Make Duraludon massive. Not quite... Gigantamax. Alright, let's see. So, get that Aurora Veil up, and now, dude, that is the, be the best combo. Aurora Veil and Dynamax, you're like guaranteed to just do damage right from the start. So, we get that Max Deal Spike up. Hatterene is going to get knocked down to its Sash, but that is great because we have the Hail up. Look at the Ice Cream Cone. Just look at it putting in that work. Look at that defense boost, which is great. Hydra says he will host a raid for me. Nice, man. After this battle, I'll get it. All right. So, Zing Zap. Going to not do much. Does get the Trick Room up. But being able to focus that thing early, Focus Sash does not enjoy the hail. So, very useful. As now down goes the Hatterene. So, Duraludon is still extremely scary over here. We also have a defense boost as well. So, we are even more bulky than the Lolod himself. Alright, so next they, got, they brought the Weezing. Um, I think I might just go for the Blizzard. We're guaranteed to be able to get off an attack here with Sashed. I'm just going to go right for that Blizzard. Does decent damage to both. And then, I suppose we just max Steel Spike on the Weezing? I don't really know what this thing's going to want to do, really, to be honest. I'm just going to go right for that max deal spike. Bring in the damage with the Duraludon. Pink Urchin goes for the recover. So with the Trick Room, it is faster. And that was an interesting recover there, lad. Why'd you do that? Hello? Reason goes for the Defog. And I'm not sure why you click Defog there either. Oh, it gets the Aurora, Defog gets the Aurora Veil off. I totally, totally forgot about that, actually. That was a nice play. D Defog is the counter to the Vanillugs. I mean, we can just get it right back up, so it didn't really matter, because it's kind of a waste. Um, they do still have their Dynamax, so depending on what they brought next. But, I mean, we still have the Kelder in the back. We are still able to bring back up that Aurora Veil. We could even switch out the Vanillix if we need to. And uh, the Blizzard is going to connect. Hitting that pin Kershaw with the damage. Alright. Oh, and they're just going to disconnect on us. Ice Cream is too much for people. They cannot handle the cream. <laughs> Holy heck, it's a shiny. Yes. Love to see it. Let us get it. All right, Ian, what do you got for me, buddy? You're about to fear the cream. Okay, so we see the Tyranitar. Which is scary. Also kind of afraid of Gengar. Um, but overall, pretty standard looking team. Um, probably not going to bring the Gastrodon. We're going to expect... Man, the Tyranitar has a terrible time against Conkelder lead. Honestly, I think we're just probably going to go Vanillux and Conkelder. Dessert first, baby. And then Conk. And then what else do we want here? Arcanine's kind of scary. Makes me sort of want to bring Jellicent. I want to bring the Duraludon. I kind of want to bring Cinderace because Corviknight is most likely going to come. Let's bring Cinderace and then Jellicent. I think that seems solid. Really hoping that Tyranitar leads. I mean, Conkelder is great against Tyranitar and Snorlax. We don't see any weather options for them. So we're going to be able to get that Aurora Veil up and probably just Dynamax from the start and uh, get things going from there. Hyper Offense with just bulky Assault Vest Conkelder is fan fantastic. Conkelder with Assault Vest has always been always been great. But alright, so. Gonna lead Arcanine Snorlax. So, can probably intimidate Arcanine. Um, but this is alright here. Yeah, bro. Alright. <laughs> So, yeah, Intimidate is annoying. Might want to even switch out Conkelder, but yeah, they're probably going to switch out that Snorlax. Let's see. I think I'm going to just go for the Aurora, Aurora Veil from the start, and then we're going to switch 
into the Jellicent. We'll save the Conkeldur. I think the, yeah, they're probably going to switch that Snorlax out, I would assume. But I did get intimidated, so you never know. 420 versus 69, a classic. Okay, so they do switch out the Snorlax. And they did bring the Gastrodon. Interesting. So I'm assuming the Arcanine's probably just going to attack Vanillux, which sucks. Those guys are too fluffy. Those guys are too fluffy. <laughs> All right, actually, this goes for the Heat Wave, um, which is fine. Vanillux eats that up. So we have a couple options here. We could go for the um, good freeze dry on the Gastrodon slot. So I think we're going to have to do Storm Drain's annoying. Hmm. What do we want here? So that Heat Wave was actually not too shabby. Got a Roar Veil up. We are bulk. The definition of bulk. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and freeze dry on that Gastrodon. And then... I'm just gonna shadow. I don't want a Dynamax yet. Let's just shadow. Let's just get some damage off on the Arcanine. Gonna switch out the Arcanine, actually. Gonna bring back in the Lax. Nope, gonna go Tyranitar. Okay, so we get at least... No, that's a bummer. It's gonna activate that Sandstream. So... Hmm, Tyran Tyranitar's scary. But it's good to know that Conkelder in the back does great against this this this, uh, this Lass's team. So, Gastrodon goes down to a freeze dry. Look at the ice cream just racking up kills all night. Love to see it. Now we're free to go ahead and scald. Um, so Jellicent probably just going to stay in here. That Tyranitar, I'm assuming, is actually going to be um, weakness policy. So I'm kind of reluctant to hit it with a super effective move. It's probably also going to Dynamax as well. So that thing is a threat. Definitely a little bit scary, so... Probably gonna bring back in the Arcanine here. So lots of switching going on. Okay, just gonna go Snorlax. So, what is this Lax gonna do? Is the question. Um, hmm. So, do I want to switch the Vanillux out and potentially get the Sandstorm up? Kind of want to save the Cinderace. Do not want to hard switch in the Conk Elder. You know, we're just gonna stay in here. Let's go for let's go for a protect. I'm gonna protect the Vanillux. And then with Jellicent, we'll just go for Maybe even a Trick Room. We're gonna go for that Trick Room. It's gonna help out Conk Elder. You know, going for the Protect actually might not have been a good idea with the Vanillux, because if this thing was to get knocked out, it would allow me just a direct entry into Conk Elder. Which could be good, but. We'll see how this goes. So they do Dynamax the Tyranitar. Not super worried about this thing, but it is still definitely scary. Oh, motherfucking Godzilla out here. Okay, so Vanillix Protect. And it's gonna go for Max Darkness. That's gonna hit Jellicent. Oh, but we live it with four. Oh my lord. Yes, yeah, so we died at the Sandstorm. Um, but being able to live that is super nice. I don't think the Snorlax would... Oh, God, the Snorlax is going to belly drum. <laughs> oh, no. So this Trick Room actually is not good at all. <laughs> oh, no. Did not expect belly drum Snorlax at all. I knew with the Snorlax being there, the Trick Room... Oh, okay, he's got, a, he's got the berry, too. Trickin was a bad play with the Snorlax on the field. Also, it's got that Figgy Berry. Oh, Jesus. Jellicent goes down. Um, damn. Well, let's see here. So, it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go Kong Kelder here. We definitely need to get rid of that. Oh, dude, that Snorlax really kind of hacked me with that. The Belly Drum Lax, dude. Really, bro? Why you gotta do this to me? So, let's see. Um, we do still have Aurora Veil for two turns. Gonna need a Dynamax Conk Elder here. Let's go ahead and just click Freeze Dry on the Snow. Yeah, we're gonna Freeze, di freeze Dry Tyranitar. I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax and Max Knuckle on the Snorlax. 
I have not played against any Snorlaxes in VGC. Belly drum in singles is not super common, but I just gave this thing a trick room, which was a terrible idea. But I mean, I think we're still okay here, because so we, we still have our Dynamax. We got that Aurora Veil. We go ahead and body slam, so that does... Ooh, we get the biggest paralysis, though. No. Oh my god, we get fully buried. That is so bad. But, we are going to be faster now because of Trick Room <laughs> due to the paralysis. So, hello? I am in quite this fucking shitstorm here, boys. Okay, so all we have left is Cinderace. Damn it, bro. I, that paralysis, he got the fucking para and then the full para. So that was just about the worst case scenario. Um, we can go ahead and... I'm going to protect Cinderace. How much do we have left on the... Trick Room has three turns, so... Pretty bad news. We'll go for that Max Knuckle on the Snorlax. Once the Trick Room goes away, if we can somehow manage to keep Cinderace around, we'll have the high jump kick. So we get that Max Knuckle off. Thank God we didn't get fully paired. So, terrible idea going for the Trick Room when there was a fucking Belly Drop Snorlax, which apparently is pretty common, but you hate to see it. So at least that thing's gone. Time to retire now, Max Rock Falls. He's gonna be on the same race to protect. Saves our life there. And okay, so. Aurora Veil does wear off, which is sad. Our ice cream is no longer around to save us. And then in comes the Arcanine. With that double intimidate shenanigans. So. Concolor being faster in the Trick Room does allow us to knock out the T-Tar. And, yeah, I don't think we have enough here. Let's just high jump kick on the Tyranitar. Go for a Max Knuckle on the Arcanine. Tyranitar doesn't have much that it can do to Conkelder. Which is good, but the Tyranitar is going to protect, so that actually really kind of sucks. But we get the Max Knuckle off, thank god for the no para. Doesn't quite do enough to the Arcanine, should have probably gone for that for that rock fall. Actually, that was a, why did I not click the rock fall? I gotta think these things through, man. It's not going to heat wave. Doesn't hurt Cinderace much, we get that high jump kick off and <laughs> it protects itself. And we keep going and crash and kill ourselves. <laughs> so, so that was not good. Welp, so the sandstorm goes away. Um, then we shrink back to normal size, but the max knuckle gives us that attack boost, um, which was actually super nice. We could go for the mock punch, hopefully take out the Arcanine. And then it's us against the Tyranitar, but I don't think we have enough. Don't think we got enough firepower for the T-Tar. Actually, we don't need to mock punch. We're still faster anyway. Because of the... Because of the trick room, there's still one turn left. We can go for the drain punch, though. I think it's best to probably use it on... No, I think... Let's use it on the T-Tar. Yes! We did not get the para! Able to knock out the Tyranitar. That gives us a bunch of health back. This has been <laughs> a very, very interesting battle. My god, that last turn of Trick Room was actually super clutch. And the Paralysis kind of helped me. That's not the Arcanine Morning Suns, but... Kunkelder is chilling over here with... Full health. And, uh... Dimensions return to normal. But... Let's take a look at this thing. We're actually Guts, too, so... <laughs> That Paralysis actually was great for us. I'm still going to click Drain Punch. We got two attack boosts. I think we're good. 
Devon says, Hayden won't run the set though. So Assault Vest Conkel, they're taking nothing from a Heat Wave, which is why I targeted the Tyranitar first. Now we're able to get a Drain Punch off, punch Yadaga right in the face, and that is going to do it. So that was a very, quite the interesting battle for sure. Uh, but we were able to come out with the dub. And Vanillux team is doing it, boys. Making it happen. The 420 versus 69 matchup. 69 comes out on top. So that was a really good game. Very, very fun game. So we are going to end the stream on that one. But I enjoyed that a lot. So it was very fun. So we shall quit battling. Let's also actually just go into ranked. And then just see... Oops, fuck, did not mean to hit single. We hit double, and at least it will show us. Um, show us our rank updates. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. It has been a great stream, kind of working on my VGC skills, messing around with the Vanillex team. So, uh, yeah. I will see y'all next time. This has been great fun. Thank you very much.